Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how bad optimization is ruining your Facebook ad campaigns and what you should do about it instead. Now, before I get into it, I just wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and haven't done so already. So for the purposes of this video, when I refer to optimization, I'm talking about the various points along the Facebook ad campaign creation process where you tell Facebook, Facebook, I would like you to optimize my Facebook ad campaigns for this. Of course, optimization can refer to you making adjustments yourself as an advertiser. We've got lots of separate videos about that, but this video is about the elements, the, the parts where you say to Facebook, I would like you to optimize for this. And I think so many Facebook advertisers get this wrong. It completely kills your Facebook advertising results. I'm gonna walk you through the places where people get this wrong, what you should be doing instead in this video. So the very first one is obviously campaign objective. So I'm in an example Facebook ad account here. I'm clicking on the green plus create button. And the first thing you are asked to do is choose a campaign objective. Now this is the top level and this is saying to Facebook, I would like you to optimize my Facebook ad campaign for this outcome. Now, if you followed my content for a while, you'll know that the vast majority of the time we are going to select conversions, but that's not what all Facebook advertisers do. A lot of Facebook advertisers, for example, will select traffic, thinking they want to send people through to the website. Now, the big issue with selecting traffic is that Facebook will optimize your campaign for traffic and nothing else. So what does that mean? If you get someone to click on one of your ads, I was going to say and go through to your website, but not necessarily. Click on one of your ads. Facebook will feel like it's done its job. OK, Facebook will be like, great, that person clicked. We did our job as an ad platform. Let's do more of that. What does that incentivize Facebook to do to get you more of those clicks? Well, they could put your ads in front of people who are clumsy phone users. I mean, that sounds ridiculous, right? But there are lots of people that are less dexterous with a phone than others, and they are far more likely to click on ads accidentally. Or they could put your ads in parts of Facebook and Instagram, or particularly things like the audience network, where there are a lot more accidental clicks just because of the format, and that makes it much easier to accidentally click on something. Facebook is there putting your ads in front of people that are just big thumbed and clumsy with phones and going, great, we got them, we got them the result they're after, they wanted clicks, we got them clicks. And that's absolutely not what you want. You don't want to be your Facebook ad campaigns to be optimized for clumsy phone users. That doesn't benefit you at all as a business. Okay? That's a perfect example with traffic. And you, you might think this doesn't happen. I can assure you it does if you select something like traffic. It's why, for example, when you run the ident an identical campaign using the conversions objective and you run an identical campaign using the traffic objective and you compare which one generates more sales or more leads on your website, on average, the conversion campaign will generate 74% more sales, leads, whatever. Um, and a lot of that is because of who Facebook is putting your ads in front of when you're selling them, I want clicks. I want clicks, get me clicks. They'll go, okay, sure, we'll get you clicks. But you, you may not have thought about the, the big thumb users, the clumsy phone users, because there's a lot of them. Video views is another classic example, okay? People who are advertising a video, instead of using something like conversions or lead generation or one of the options that I think there's a lot of value in, they might go, oh, I'm advertising a video. I want people to watch my video, fantastic. When you really want them to watch your video, then click through to your website and buy but you go ahead and use video views. Now again, what does that incentivize Facebook to optimize for? They're going, if we can get people to watch this video, brilliant, we've done our job. So Facebook's algorithms go and they work out, okay, who's watching lots of videos? Well, who, who, who could be watching videos? Could it be people that are distracted? Could it be people that are actually watching TV and they've sort of got their phone and they're sort of very slowly scrolling through their Facebook or Instagram feed? If they just happen to be landing on a, on a video that plays for 15 seconds because they're distracted watching TV and then they scroll on Facebook and they didn't actually watch your video at all, Facebook goes, fantastic, we've got a video view, pop that one in the ad account, we've got this advertiser what they wanted, let's move on. Again, that does nothing for your business. Someone watching TV who's slowly scrolling through their Instagram feed and just happens to have left their, their scroll, their feed on your video ad for, you know, 
15 seconds and Facebook goes, before they scrolled on again, Facebook goes, we, we did really well here, we, we did a good job. And again, you think this doesn't happen? I assure you it does. So much um, ad consumption on Facebook and Instagram is done by distracted people that are not just using their phone, they're something else going on. So, and that's what a lot of video views are, particularly longer video views can be people that are just distracted. They just happen to, Facebook doesn't know, they can't see whether that person's eyes are actually on your video, they could be doing something else. Whereas obviously if you're going for conversions using a video, well, unless someone clicks through and buys or clicks through and becomes a lead, which they will only do if they're actually engaged in consuming your video, Facebook doesn't think it's done its job. So it won't optimize for those people. There's another example. Okay, I've got another one for you. Engagement. This applies to certain businesses a lot more than others. How, if you say to Facebook, I want engagement, how can Facebook do that? They can put you in front of people, yes, that engage a lot more, that are most likely more likely to leave comments, things like that. They could also put your ads in front of people that aren't going to like them. Again, this happens more than Facebook advertisers think. People engage with stuff they don't like. I mean, it's talked about so much now, isn't it? That across social media platforms, comments are very negative. People get outraged by stuff. They feel the need to talk about it. Again, this happens in certain industries more than others, but we're getting more and more and more comments and engagement and bad reactions, negative reactions, because obviously you can't just well, you can do more than just hit a thumbs up on a, on a Facebook ad now. You can react in lots of different ways. We're getting a lot more of those that are not positive, that are quite negative. Um, and again, Facebook's like, ah, that person commented on this video. Brilliant. We did our job. Well done us as an, uh, as, as an ad platform. And you, the advertiser, going, yeah, but that person said to never buy this product because it's all a scam or whatever. OK, um, so I could go through some more. But those are some examples of the very first thing you want to get right when it comes to optimization is telling Facebook to go for exactly what it is that you want, which for the majority of advertisers is going to be conversions. Now, there are caveats and times where you can't do that, but I want to explain those examples. If you really want conversions on your website and you are using traffic or engagement or video views, that is bad optimization and that is negatively affecting your results. I can guarantee it. OK, let's click continue on our conversion campaign. The next level, I'm going to jump to the I'm not going to cover lots of stuff here. I'm going to um, jump to the ad set level. Obviously, our video is covering literally just about every setting. The next thing that once you've got conversions that you um, may run into in terms of bad optimization is choosing a conversion event. Now, I would basically always recommend that you go for the one that you really want. So if you want purchases, go for purchase. Don't go for add to carts. Don't go for initiate checkouts. Don't go for view content, hoping that people then go ahead and purchase. Facebook is creepily good if you select add to cart again, if people to add to cart, but don't take the next step. I don't, I, un, I couldn't even really understand. I mean, I can theorize, but I couldn't 100% tell you as to how they work that out, but they do. There must be loads of people out there that just love adding stuff to cart, but I don't know have a fear of commitment or something and don't go ahead and purchase. And Facebook finds these people and um, and puts ads in front of them if you select the conversion event that you um that you don't want to that you that you isn't the one that you really, really want. So, so important to select the one you want. Most of the time that's going to be purchase or perhaps it could be lead. This will depend on your business. Okay. Um but yeah, so just if you, as I said, if you go for one that's if you optimize, tell Facebook to optimize for something that isn't your end objective, Facebook's going to do their best to get you it. And it doesn't mean you're going to meet your end objective. OK, scrolling down, we also have this section down here, optimization for ad delivery. Basically, when it comes to conversions, don't mess this up. The default is conversions. Don't switch it to landing page views or you can see other options like link clicks, daily unique reach impressions. That is you're running into some of the same issues that we talked about with the campaign objectives. Um, and, you know, again, if you go for link clicks, even if it's conversion campaign, it's going to operate much more like a traffic campaign. So just leave this alone. Don't let this mess this up. You can change this optimization for ad delivery and result in bad optimization and really negatively affect your results. OK, I just want to quickly jump back to the conversions thing because I want to address. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to be at the campaign level and do this. I want to address what I know is going to come up in the comments of this video. And that's when people will say, but hang on a minute, I've got a brand new ad account. Facebook doesn't know how to get me conversions. 
how can I run a conversions campaign straight away? Surely I have to start with one of these other options to train my pixel. And I've been searching for ways to explain this because to me, that never made any sense and it still doesn't. And we've tested this a whole bunch. It doesn't in the data. If you had, a, I've got an analogy for you. If you had a friend that never did any exercise, never did any exercise at all, and they decided they want to run a marathon and they're going to do it in a month's time or two months times or a short time frame. And they say, I'm not very good at running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the first few weeks of my training swimming to hopefully build up my fitness. Then I'm going to start running and that's going to help me run better at this marathon. It doesn't make sense. Because after their first two weeks, let's say, of swimming, they're still going to be bad at running when they start. You've just wasted two weeks. You're better off just running. If you're going to run a marathon, you train by running. So here's the analogy. Running the marathon, successfully running a marathon is a high performing Facebook ad campaign that's delivering results for your business. At the beginning, when you open a brand new ad account, yes, it's not going to know. Facebook's not going to know how to get you loads of conversions. But training it to do something completely different than getting you conversions isn't going to teach it. It's like trying to it's like training in a swimming pool to get better at running. You're just better off running. You have to accept that there's a time period at which you're not going to be very good at running. And there's a time period at which your Facebook ad account is not going to be very good at getting you conversions. The only way to get through that is to get through it, is to generate some conversions and improve things over time and get better and better and better. If I run, I hear this all the time. My Facebook ad account is new. I can't run a conversions campaign. Therefore, I'm going to run engagement. How does running an engagement campaign show your Facebook ad account how to get conversions? It doesn't. It just doesn't. There might be a tiny bit of crossover benefit, just like, Yes, okay, if you swim, you get a bit fitter, that might make you a bit of a better runner. But you're way better off just running from day one and you get to your objective much faster. Same same with him. Yes, there might be a tiny bit of benefit running an engagement campaign first before you then run a conversions campaign. But that money, just like the training time in the analogy, is much better off spent on a conversions campaign. And I think this gets into this thing that a lot of Facebook advertisers fall into. They think there's a fix for everything and there's just not. You just have to accept that sometimes you have to go through a, a non-ideal scenario to get to where you want to go. A Facebook ad account with 10,000 conversions in it is going to perform so much better than a Facebook ad account with three conversions in it. There's only one way to get there, to generate those conversions. You can't cheat the system. Um, so I wanted to address that because I think that's very important. The same process happens at the ad set level where people will say, I can't optimize for... Where are we? Where's our, where's our event? Here we go. I can't optimize for purchase. I don't generate enough. Facebook tell me I need 50 in a week. Why don't I optimize for add to cart? And my response to that is you're much better off to have a partially optimized um, campaign that is going for exactly what you want than a highly optimized campaign going for something that you don't want. It's just like take a professional swimmer and get them to run a marathon so someone who's like fully optimized really fit you know um amazing in the pool like really amazing is that person going to beat someone who is a very good runner but not quite at the same level as the swimmer no the person who's a very very good runner is going to beat the professional swimmer at running it's the same process you're better off with something that is not fully optimized, you don't quite have enough data, but they're trained in what you want, as opposed to some something or someone that is absolutely at the top of their game and highly, highly trained, but not at what you want. It's not going to translate. Exactly the same logic applies. So basically, keep it simple. I'm sure there's still going to be loads of comments from people saying, but what about this scenario? What about this scenario? Well, it's basically going to be just do it. Um, but, um, but yeah, hopefully that is useful. Okay, before you go, um, one thing I want to quickly mention, that's a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And in this webinar, I've broken down the three sales funnels that we use 
Um, actually, only two out of the three use a conversion objective, but one is so different that it is a completely different setup, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about there. Um, and these are sales funnels that we use in agency all the time. We've broken them down and uh, in this webinar and, and demonstrate them in a lot of detail. They're very much tried and tested. Strongly recommend you go through it. It's completely free. Link is in the video description. Uh, well worth your time. Other thing I want to mention is our Facebook ad services. So my business, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook and Instagram ad agency. We create, manage, and optimize Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns for our clients. And if you want to get better results from the platform, we can almost certainly help you achieve that. Now, we do have a minimum budget requirement of 3K per month. If that's doable for you, then the best next step would be to book a call with one of my team members. Again, another link in the video description below. Go through, book a call, um, and... Um, yeah, informal chat, we can find out more about your business, you can find out more about our pricing and how we work, and hopefully we get a chance to, uh, to work together. Hopefully this video's been useful. Comment below if it has, comment below with feedback, questions, all that sort of stuff. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, and of course, subscribe to my channel um, if you haven't done so already. I release Facebook ads content all the time, and there's so much stuff like this where you could just have a setting slightly wrong, and it's gonna crush your campaigns. And I am here, and my content is all about making sure you don't make those mistakes. So, um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.